Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So we can start with today's TA. After Bitcoin reached our first target here of 9,500, we had a little dump here towards 8,500 and we bounced in very important areas because right now I think we could be still in for a push towards 10,500 and this is why we have to go older to the bigger time frames. But first we're gonna cover here this smaller time frame frames the one hour and four hour because in the one hour you can see that we came straight down to the 50 moving average in the one hour we are holding this uh, moving average as a support and currently it looks like that we are trying to break out again to the upside and possibly test again this $9,500. You can see that the RSI came just to the 50 level even though we had this uh, quite big dump here because we came from 9,480 down to 8,400. So this was a $1,000 move to the downside and you can see that the RSI in the one hour time frame just came down to the 50 level. Stochastic is now overbought, that is true. So we could maybe see here another little leg down before maybe another retest here of this $9,500 dollar but here in the one hour it looks like that we are holding nice above the 50 level in the RSI and this could indicate that we could see here another leg up pretty soon even here in the Bollinger Band you can see that after we completely overshooted it to the upside we retraced back down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band and right now we are gearing up for another leg to the upside and here the most important thing the four hour time frame because here you can clearly see that we came down to the 20 moving average and we successfully bounced from it so this moving average is the most important one because here Bitcoin is most of the times retracing back down when it's in a bull run or in a bear market and we're seeing dumps so this is the most important moving average in my opinion at least for the short term and here also you can see that the stochastic already came to oversold territory and the RSI is also still above the 50 so here even if we would see another leg down towards 8,500, this should hold as support and we should again bounce to the upside. So I think we could be in here for another retest of 9,500 and possibly even go higher. So we can also have a quick look here on the four hour time frame in the Bollinger Band because you can see that we retrace completely back into the middle area. MACD could have a bearish cross, so we are in a critical point right now. So in case that we are dumping, watch out here for this 8,500 dollar support if we're gonna lose it then in theory we could go even down here to seven thousand four hundred dollar i don't think we could go very fast to that level but it is possible because also if we go to the cme chart you can see that we have a very very small tiny future gap down at seven thousand six hundred dollar but we also have a very big one up to eleven thousand eight hundred dollar which is a very old one this one here is a newer so i think if we have a dump maybe just to go and close this gap here and then continue again to the upside but this gap can also be filled like in a couple of weeks or months it doesn't have to fill right now but i just want to let you know that we have a very little gap that you can only see in the one hour and four hour time frame down here at seven thousand six hundred so we can go back to the bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame because here very important we are trading above the 200 daily and we didn't test this moving average yet this is also the 0.618 fib line based on the move from 10,500 down to 3,800 so in theory we should go at least once to test this moving average and if we have the confirmation that we have now this moving average as a support we should bounce from 8,000 and continue to trade to the upside possibly break this 9,500 and go to this 10,500 target that we have this is the most important target to reach and also to break it because here here in case that we are going to get heavy rejected here this indicates that we could form here double top formation and then we would go straight back down again to where we started and maybe even go lower but this is what we have to see once we can break here this 9500 and we are moving towards 10500 dollar only if we can break this high that we had over here then i think we are good to go to possibly see new all-time highs and remember also that the hovering event is coming up in less than like 10 days so make sure to check the prices daily because I think we are getting into very volatile days right now. Here the RSI and Stochastic are overbought so this indicates that 
we maybe can see here another retest of one of these moving averages, especially at the 200 or even here the 20 daily moving average at 7,670. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can also see that we are still overshooting it to the upside and we will need to go and retrace the sooner or later down to the middle area here between 8,000 and 7,400. And that's why I say that maybe we're gonna have a little retracement back down here or a dump before we are reaching this 10,500. I think it's still possible to reach. Let's see if first we're gonna have a dump or first we're going up to test this $10,500. MACD is still shifted to the upside, so in theory we could go first to 10,500 before we are seeing a potential dump and if we open up the weekly time frame here also you can see that we are still trading above the 20 and 50 moving average which is a very bullish sign also macd shifted to the upside rsi just started to trade above the 50 so here we have a lot of room left to the upside and the formation here is telling me that we are in for a big run to the upside and what we have seen right now this pump from 3800 up to 9500 is nothing compared to what will come the only question is, are we going to retest one of these levels down here or not? And of course, we can also have a look at the Bollinger Band in the weekly, because here you see that also here we are still far away from the top here at 10,500, and the MACD is just having a bullish cross. So here also in theory, in the bigger time frames and for the long term, we should be good to go for a big run to the upside. And remember guys, if you want to take advantage of the swings when we go down and we go up, then make sure to have a Bybit or Fim account you find the sign up links down below here is completely for free and with my links you can get some sign up bonus so you can start to trade completely riskless i'm also using the prime xpt and bityard exchange so you can also create an account on all of these exchanges and profits from all the rewards that they give you and please make sure also to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and if you want to see the live streams uh, you can follow me over on twitch there we are doing sometimes the live live streams when something important is happened with the price and remember guys please i need your help for tomorrow's birthday of my girlfriend we are going now to the mountains it's a surprise to celebrate her birthday and i need your help i want that you tomorrow on the 2nd of may just transfer anything to her bitcoin account this is her account she just got into bitcoin and she have like 50 dollars or something worth of bitcoin in her wallet and she's new into it and that's why i want to make her a surprise just send her anything even one cent one dollar whatever you want just that she gets the notification email from coinbase that she's getting some entries this would be very fun and a very nice surprise for her so remember guys this will happen tomorrow so tomorrow is her birthday i would very much appreciate if you can help me out with that and hopefully i can bring her also in front of the camera to say thank you to all of you so with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my $10 giveaway that I do with every 100 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.